Okay, um, uh, holy shit. I mean, uh, this movie blew me away. And at the same time, it shocked the hell out of me. So for those of you who don't know what Green Room is about, it's about this uh, punk rock band. And uh, one day they perform at a neo-Nazi uh, bar type of place. And one of the band members happens to witness something that he wasn't supposed to see. And now they are kept as a hostage and shit goes down, meaning blood gets spilled, heads explode, people die in the most horrible ways possible. And um, this movie is great. Um, yeah, it is a terrific thriller. I had a lot of fun watching it, which is kind of a weird thing to say because um, it is not an easy film to sit through. There are a lot of really painful and bloody moments. There are times in the film where I was like, oh god, oh, oh. Oh, oh no, why, why don't show me that? You know, that kind of, the, the kind of shocking moments that make you wince and gasp and just, you know, cover your eyes, cover your mouth. It's just, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, it happens, you know, all the way through. Well, maybe not all the way through, but about, about, for about two thirds of the film. And, um, this is a very well done movie. It is intelligent. It is gripping. It is white knuckling. And it is full of twists and turns. You don't know where it's going, which is a really great thing. Um, there is very little exposition. And um, I mean, wow, a lot of really good stuff in the movie. And uh, Jeremy Solnier, who directed and wrote this film, he did a phenomenal job with it. Like, remember his name, Jeremy Solnier. He's going to be huge in, like, I don't know, five years from now. I, I think he's going places. He's going he's gonna to be a phenomenal director. I think the Hollywood is, you know, keeping an eye on him. So, yeah, Jeremy Solnier, phenomenal job. And... Uh, it is also a well-acted film. Anton Yelchin, he was great. Imogen Poots, he was also... Uh, not he, she was also really good too. And But still, uh, the, not still, but Patrick Stewart. He is menacing as hell. His character is pure evil. He is n not, a, not a likable guy at all. And um, yeah, he was, he was terrifying. And uh, oh my god, there's so much great stuff in the movie. Um, I have some issues with the film. It's not a perfect movie. I know it's such a cliche thing to say, but it's it's not a perfect movie. And I've heard some people complaining about how stupid the main characters are. And that didn't really bother me, to be honest. It, which is kind of interesting because that kind of thing, you know, that, that is one of the pet peeves in, you know, any movie you know having it having stupid characters making stupid decisions it's like you know that usually bothers me that but but that didn't happen with this film but anyways yeah a lot of people would might find that aspect of it um frustrating that was not the case with me but um uh yeah that's pretty much the well i guess the there were a couple of problems i guess flaws with the story like the, the reason why they are keeping they as in neo-nazi group why they are keeping these band members and when you see why they are keeping it, it it's like oh, okay so eh, it's it, eh, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't something you know mind-blowing but still this is a terrific film it is a great cinematic ex experience um, it is very violent. I can't stress that enough. It is very, very violent. You have to, you have to know that if you're going to go see it. But, um, yeah, I think Quentin Tarantino loved Green Room, too. And, uh, if you like Tarantino films, I think you're going to have a ball watching this film. So, Green Room, check it out. It is really good fun. Very thrilling, suspenseful, frightening, and, um, just an... A, just an adrenaline rush all the way through. Crazy, thrilling, just, yeah, really good movie. Really entertaining movie. And, yeah, Green Room, go check it out. That's... I'm out.